Penguin's weapons caches have been found and... Truly believe you've won, don't you, Batman? Savor this fleet. Sir, there have been reports of opera music being played on the boundary of Chinatown. There was similar music being aired at the previous crime scene. It would appear this is some kind of calling card. As my toxin dissipates, it leaves behind a forsaken city, forever tainted by your failure. Tonight, the myth of Batman dies, and Gotham dies with it. You know, they're probably up there smiling down on us now, Bruce. Mom, Pop, Jason, Babs, Talia. Oh, Talia. Won't be long now until the rest of the family's up there with them. But don't worry, Bruce. This blood brother's going nowhere. Alfred, I found a fifth victim. I feared you would, sir. Scar tissue on the upper arm. I recognize the pattern. Twenty years ago, this was a badge of honor among inmates at Blackgate Penitentiary. A small group of racketeers known as the Bloodhaven Six. Remnants of a pacemaker fitted through the right ventricle. If I cross-reference the manufacturer with the pacing method, it will help to narrow the search. Clear signs of bone deformation on the victim's knee. Joint line sclerosis points to juvenile arthritis, a rare and debilitating condition. 
Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Franklin Ocardo. His records are a litany of drug-related offenses, sir. In and out of prison from an early age. He was serving a 20-year sentence at Blackgate before being released early on grounds of ill health due to a heart condition. He moved to Little Rock, Arkansas, which is where he was reported missing. Do the details of the disappearance match with the others? They do indeed, sir. Also, your request to cross-reference the parks and playing fields has proved fruitful. I've come across some leasing documentation that appears to have been falsified. Someone is attempting to cover their tracks. Find out anything you can, Alfred. We couldn't have done anything to prevent these deaths, but we can still save others. I can't leave the militia checkpoints operational. If Azrael's ready. The rioters have this. The bat creature has a distinctive echolocation delivery. If I listen carefully, I'll be able to track its movement and hunt it down. with you on the whole locking up Robin thing. It's clearly cruel and mildly psychotic, but we're starting to see eye to eye on these little matters of right and wrong.
I'm heading to GCPD to investigate the transmission sent on a SWAT channel from within the city. Fingers crossed, sir. It sheds some light on Scarecrow's whereabouts. You know, I'm grateful for a job, but I never signed up for this. First the fires, now the whole city under attack? I'm positive the arsonist you were tracking was Firefly. Firefly? <laughs> that explains a lot. Those fires were something else. Some of the worst I've seen. Was there anything linking them? Location, type of building? Yeah. They were all abandoned tenements or redevelopment projects. Does that mean something? I can't say for certain yet. Don't worry. You'll be taken back to GCPD. Wait here.
presented by the time counter. We're going to race. We're going to race. Good job, Batman. Yeah, nice work. City of fear, my ass! Thanks, Batman. I didn't think we were gonna make it back there. Hey, Batman. How you doing? The fools in here actually think you're winning. Deluded, Batman. We must get it from you. 25, October 30th. How's the commissioner holding up? You think you could get me an interview? Too soon? How about in a couple of hours? You been over to see where it happened? You know, where Gordon's kid died? You could get me access, right? Gotham ain't going down yet, Batman. Thanks to you. Some of your men have picked up an encrypted message. How did you... Stupid question. McAllister's back there in the comms room. It's got us all scratching our heads. Doesn't seem real, Batman. I can't imagine what Jim's gonna do. Barbara was everything to him. Tell me about this broadcast. Wish I could, sir, but it's on a SWAT channel. Encrypted. Those boys really don't like anyone listening in. I'm in. Hey, are you me? It's Jim. I need you to send through some blueprints. I found Crane, and that bastard's going to die for what he did to my little girl. Was that the commissioner? What's he doing? Getting himself killed. But I've got the ID number of the radio he's using, and that means I can track him. I've decoded a radio transmission. It's Gordon. He's alive! I need you to isolate the radio's frequency and pinpoint its location. Of course, sir. The transmission appears to have originated from an abandoned shopping mall. The building has been without power for some time, sir. You may well encounter some obstacles. The remote electrical charge prototype is being held in the GCPD evidence room. That should help. Very well, sir. I'm sure Officer Cash will understand. Doesn't seem real, Batman. I can't imagine what Jim's gonna do. Oh, there you are. Look, it's my stuff. So this is my memorial, huh? <sighs> Not even a statue. They think they can just file me away, don't they? I've been sent back for a reason, Bruce. And no one's forgetting me this time around. One pair of shock gloves, worn by the electrocutioner, a.k.a. Leslie Buczynski. Joker hired this guy on the night of the Black Gate riots. And then he killed him. 
Okay. I now I can go after Jim. For a while before handing them in. I guess he prefers oh, them very them subtle. <laughs> I know this is the evidence room, Bruce, but you could have tried to cover your tracks. One electric charge gun used by Batman, a.k.a. We don't like to ask. Batman dropped this here with the rest of the Arkham City evidence. Nice to have some of Batman's gear in the evidence room. Hope he doesn't ask for it back. One pair of shock gloves, worn by the electrocutioner, a.k.a. Lester Buczynski. Joker hired this guy on the night of the Blackgate riots. And then he killed him. I heard Batman borrowed these for a while before handing them in. I guess he prefers beating up punks the old-fashioned way. One mask and jacket worn by Anarchy, a.k.a. Lonnie Machen. I wasn't even a cop when this kid tried to hit Gotham. No one's seen him since. No one knows where they're keeping him. I guess the government don't like anarchists too much. One Tommy gun, used by Peyton Riley, a.k.a. the ventriloquist. Or maybe the gun belongs to the puppet. I never really understood what's going on there. Talia. I'm sorry. One ceremonial sword owned by Talia Al Ghul. Miss Al Ghul was a wanted terrorist and an associate of her father, Raish. But Joker got to her before we did. From what I hear, Batman put this blade to good work after she died. One black mask worn by Black Mask, a.k.a. Roman Sionis. Sionis never really recovered from the night of the Black Gate riots, the night Joker showed up. Roman was an old-school gangster. Joker, well, I'm not sure what he was. One ventriloquist dummy, a.k.a. Scarface. This ain't the original Scarface. It's a Joker knockoff. Don't ask me why, but the clown took a liking to these creepy things. One freeze ray, used by Mr. Freeze, a.k.a. Victor Freeze. We, uh, had to stop playing with this after the commissioner caught us making ice cream. Freeze has kept quiet since leaving Arkham City. Maybe Batman finally talked some sense into him. A selection of body parts belonging to Warren White, a.k.a. the Great White Shark. White got himself sent to Arkham on an insanity plea. He lost a few things other than his mind while there. Made the new look work, though, I gotta say. One custom tailored top hat, worn by Jervis Tetch, a.k.a. the Mad Hatter. Guy's mad, all right. He tried to brainwash Batman in Arkham City. <laughs> he got the Wonderland kicked out of him instead. I hated letting him go. This guy's too creepy to stay free. One vial of Titan formula. One set of wind-up explosive false teeth. One pair of actual X-ray specs. One toy gun loaded with one toy flag and five real bullets. All used by the Joker. No known alias. It's one hell of a toy box. I'm glad no one's gonna play with it again. One stuffed bear in a canister of Titan formula. Owned by Bane, a.k.a. Unknown. We had to let Bane loose after the Arkham City fallout. Guy was messed up anyway. Serious Titan withdrawal. My guess, he's off somewhere getting clean. And he's not going to be happy when he comes back. Two ceremonial swords used by Rosh. I mean, Rish al Ghul. We found these at the bottom of Wonder Tower the night of Protocol 10. They were covered in blood. No body, though. One Arkham Asylum branded shock collar, worn by Killer Croc, a.k.a. Waylon Jones. We found this thing in the sewers under Arkham City. And that ain't good, because it was supposed to keep that bastard under control. One rifle and two wrist-mounted guns used by Floyd Lawton, 
AKA Deadshot. <sighs> Another guy we had to let go after Arkham City got shut down. Still, that doesn't mean he got his toys back. One laughing gas grenade, one snare trap, and one baseball bat. All used by Dr. Harleen Quinzel, a.k.a. Harley Quinn, during a recent assault on the Bloodhaven police station. From what we gather, Scarecrow sent Harley to break out Poison Ivy from the lockup in blood. One flamethrower and jetpack. Worn by Garfield Lens, a.k.a. Firefly. <sighs> Why can't Gotham have a normal pyromaniac, you know? Why does ours have to fly? Well, this, this is some top-of-the-line gear, used by the Arkham Knights militia. I don't know who's paying for this stuff, but they've got deep pockets. These boys are well equipped. Any luck deciphering that message? Comms guys are in the dock. I can just imagine the news coverage on this whole thing. Probably got the whole world glued to their TVs. Any luck deciphering that message? Comms, I ain't stopping him. Don't look at me. Can't tell you how grateful we are, Batman. We got our city back. Well, the breathable part, anyway. No car. Just me and you, Batman. Anytime you want. Let me tell you a secret. You haven't seen the last of him. He's gonna find you, and when he does, he's gonna rip out your heart. You'll find him. I know it. out there, Batman. 